we all are discussing about the ana administration all right ana administration we are discussing here ana administration so in ana administration so we have introduction part we have covered so what is ana sap ana so what is ana so what is the usage then how what is the importance here so what is the difference between other databases to ana database ana is to recap to the uh, previous discussions so ana is in memory column oriented columnar database in memory column oriented columnar database which means it will store the data in in memory in memory means ram memory and also it has only columns all the business data will store in the form of columnar way columnar way so you need to remember three words here when you are talking about the hana database with someone one is the <coughs> in memory second one is the columnar format columnar format columnar tables okay columnar format columnar tables okay so columnar way okay so columnar way okay so three formats three words you need to remember okay so columnar okay columnar format columnar tables columnar way so ana ana is in memory column oriented columnar database this is the first database which has it will store the data in columnar way okay columnar way so here hana database so we have so compared to other databases why we have means in memory concept in memory advanced concept and also the one more advantage here the compression mechanism here the compression mechanism in compression mechanism in main memory so normally the compression will happen in the in the storage level the disk level but here the compression will happen in the main memory itself the compression will happen so that the memory is reduced the size of the object is reduced here the data so that we will be in the safer side means so hana is purely memory mentality okay so which means whatever the data comes same data will be available in the in memory so another memory usage is very high then the license cost also you need to bear with the license also because ana license is based upon the main memory okay so that is the reason you have to carefully use the so tables in the main memory and everything here right and also the compression techniques and also here the parallel mechanism parallel mechanism it will use it parallel mechanism which means parallel parallel mechanism which means so whenever you need any data it will initiate the parallel threads and it will go and pick up the data from the database level so that is called the parallel mechanism or so linear it will use the linear search method linear search method and one more advantage is having the hana on fly we can make the business decision we can make the business decision on fly we can make the business decision so these are the advantages of having the ana database right advantages of having the ana database in our landscape right so this is the one <coughs> and also ana ana is to install the ana sir we also now based upon your advantages i am interested to install the ana but so how to do that one it's not simply like downloading the software installing the software you have to carefully plan you have to carefully plan the your hardware your hardware requirement and software requirement you have to carefully plan the all your hardware and software requirement here right so how to plan this one right how to plan so here the hardware requirement your os on walls os so okay so ram memory right and also file systems what are the file system is required os level or disks we will call it as the disks or mount points everything here there is a naming convention is same right so file systems size 
so what is the size of the each file system how many cpus we have to use it what is the network bandwidth here what is the network bandwidth here so all those things here it will give the information here right so hardware hardware requirements means so what type of hardware will come os it will come into the os part here of os operating system so operating system means you need either linux operating systems are required here either the red hat linux or red hat linux or susi linux here okay susi linux both are the operating system only either anyone can use for the to install the hana database okay and also this is the hardware certified hardware vendors only you need to use it here right ram either you can use the thick sizer tool that is what we discussed right thick sizer tool or you can use the <coughs> what is that preset sizing method right this is the manual calculation preset sizing method right so normally there some people they will go for the t-shirt sizing method some people will go for the thick sizer tool thick sizer tool some people they will go for the thick sizer tool here so what are the file systems you required here right so here we required the so thick sizer tool is the web based tool that we already discussed so just giving the overview again what are the file systems you required root usr sap then slash ana data then slash ana log then slash ana shared so these are the hana related five types of file systems and the respective sizes are called the the root is like 10 gb minimum 10 gb this is the minimum 50 gb and slash ana data is the called the 3 into ram size right and also the slash ana log is called the Half by two, zero point five into RAM size. So half by two RAM size. Whatever the RAM size we have, we can take the half by two RAM size. Or max, we can take the five twelve GB is the maximum limit for the log folder. What about the slab one into RAM size? So based upon the RAM size, you will get the all this requirement, right? You have to calculate it. Once you got the RAM size here, yeah, suppose one terabyte. Then three terabyte of the data folder, then five twelve GB of the log folder size, and also slash na shared is the one terabyte here, right? One into RAM size means one terabyte here. So these are the calculations are very 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 important. These are the certifications related questions. All these are right. So and also the sizing that is the size this much of size is required here, right? So that is the sizing here. CPU one CPU. one physical cpu will handle the one physical cpu that is called the pcpu physical cpu will handle the 14 gb of ram memory so two cpus so one cpu 14 gb two cpus 28 gb three cpu 42 gb like that one terabyte means 1 tb by 14 gb how many it will come so that is the number of the number of cpus you required for the this one So network one gigabyte per seconds. So this all this one GBPS one GBPS that is what SAP recommending here, right? Minimum. So CPUs this many CPUs calculate everything will based upon the RAM size only, right? So and also OS file system requirement and everything this we discussed, right? And also after that we discussed about the software requirements here, right? software requirement in the software requirement so what are the softwares we required hana db hdb software hana db hana database and hana db client you required hdb client and hdb database so there some additional add ons and plugins in hana database versions also we discussed right so we have versions hana 1.0 and hana 2.0 hana 1.0 and hana 2.0 also we discussed right so what is mean by hana 1.0 and 2.0 here right so 1.0 and 2.0 here 1.0 and 2.0 so 1.0 is single container database 2.0 is multi container database multi container database here single and multi 
Single means when you install the HANA database, you will only get the standalone database. Means only the six products, one database will. That is the main thing, right? If you install the one DB, only one database will get. Why, why you will get the multiple databases? But in the HANA 2.0, you will get the multi-container, which means you will get the two databases. One is the system database on top of, and you will get the one more database that is called the tenant database. We already discussed about the usage of the system DB, tenant DB. Tenant DB, it will store the data. Why? Because in HANA, we have the list of processor allowable, right? Index server, name server, right? Free processor. And also, what is that? Web dispatcher. Web dispatcher. And also, compile server. Compile server. And also, we have the access engine and the diamond so these are the seven processor available in the in the in that the main process is called the index server index server it will store the data it will store the, all the data it will resides data data is coming to the hana database means so this is called the index server it will store the data into the index server only remaining process will help to the index server that's why we will call it as the index server. This is the father of the database. Father of the database is called the index server. Index server is the father of the database here. Right? So here, all the data will resides here in the index server here. In the index server. Right? So this index server is available only tenant database. Tenant database. Tenant index server and access engine. These two pros are available in the tenant database. The remaining five are available in the system DB. When you create the one more tenant database, when you add the one more tenant database, you will get the one more index server and one more access engine you will get. When you install one more thing, you will get the one more thing. Like that, up to how many we can increase the, in one, one system SID, we can create the up to 20, up to 19 plus one. 20 databases we can create it. Why 19 I mentioned? By default, you will get the one tenant database. So exclude that one, 19, include that one, 20 databases we can create in the one host here. Here, another 1.0 is the single container, which means when you install the database, you will get the only one database you will get here. It's not the container based here, right? Single container, single database you will get here, right? So single database, there is no option, but we have it's mandatory. But here in the 2.0, it's a mandatory, mandatory to install the HANA 2.0 versions and everything It's mandatory, right? So that is the HANA 2.0 versions here. That is what the difference between the more we will come, come to know when we start working on the HANA database, right? So these are the main here, right? Single system database and also. So here Linux part, we have to work it out, right? That is the reason we are logging to the Linux Linux through putty. We have to log in. See here. So there is a putty just to open the putty here. Why? Because to log into the Linux, so install can be installed only on the Linux operating systems, not the Windows operating systems. Just to log into the Linux using the putty command here. So your putty, right? Just to save the session here so that whenever you open the next session. Double click it, it will open automatically, right? So your HANA is opened here. Just log in with the root user. The, you can enter the password here, same password. So then you will see the Linux operating system here, right? You logged into the Linux here. Then just we discussed about the <coughs> commands also. What are the commands we have to use it, execute it, all these things we discussed, it, right? So Linux commands. Right, so folder creations, file creation. I, I hope you guys are clear, right? Up to here, folder, file creations, and also deletion, CD, cat, make directory. So, a few things we discussed, right? Suppose you want to see the folders and everything, you see here, you went to the so CD, CD, DF, Python, hatch, display the file systems here. You see the Slash media. Suppose I want to go to the slash media. CD slash media. 
then immediately you will go to the here i want to see what's there here then i can use the ls hyphen ltr i can use the ls hyphen ltr here ls hyphen ltr i can use it here just one minute Oh, sorry guys uh, i having some uh, some eye infection and uh, both are attacked at same time uh, yeah so uh, this is the how to go to the inside of the folder means cd slash media means folder name anything you can give it you will go to the inside of that one so here you can see here any if you see here out of this or how can we identify which one is the file here which one is the folder here the folder starting of here it will mention the d d means directory so which means this is the directory file means nothing is mentioned which means that is the file here right so all database related softwares are everything is under here so in the form of dot sar dot sar dot sar here dot sar means sap archive right why because sap related any file the extension should be here dot sar so that is the reason you see dot sar files here right so now you are in the file system right so some more commands we will practice it today okay so those commands are like so suppose ls siphon ldr right few 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 topics we already discussed right so here you see someone changed the permission to triple seven ownership ownership they have changed normally this is the user id this is the group these are the permission levels right these are the permission levels this is the user id and this is the group here so see here someone okay directory is okay someone change it to the triple seven what is it mean by triple seven it's not correct right so we need to correct it here then we need to we need to give you need to change the permission that time you have to use the chon shown 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 iphone r if you are giving the folder or directory you need to use the iphone r otherwise you no need to give it here so if you are using the folder and inside of the all the files you want to apply the same permissions same group changes you can apply the r otherwise just go to the here then root root username root and so here and also root here group also root here same as like either then what is the folder here this is the folder then you have to give the space you have to give the space then change it here right then ls hyphen ltr you see now that folder got changed to the that folder got if you know in the folder got changed to the and here this is the one root and root right suppose c h o w n shown to changes of the group ownership ownership changes this is the shown is the change changes of the folder or file ownership here right then go to inside of the file here folder inside of the folder then cd ls safe and ltr you see it got changed all are changed here <coughs> all are changed here and then go back here okay go back here so then what next suppose <coughs> so that is the shown is the one command for changes of the group ownership and file file or folder ownership here 
right? Either the UID or group ID. Suppose I want to change it to the different one, right? Suppose in that case, this one I will take it example directory. Okay, C H O W N, right? I want to change it to the Ravi, and here root is the group here. Then example. Then when you go to the here, you see the file ownership, the folder ownership will change it to the Ravi user here, right? Ravi user. You can see Ravi user, which means Ravi is the owner for this folder or file here. Right, remove RM means deletion of the file. Right, it's a directory, cannot remove that time. You can use the RS minus RF, you can use it. RF means recursive force you are using here. Recursive force you are using for this one. RF is the recursive force you are using here. Okay, so this is the recursive force RF. <coughs> okay, so this is the one. So some and also one more thing here you want to give the permissions then chmod chmod maybe if you are giving to the folder then iphon r space we have the permissions are called the six double seven or triple seven or seven double five these are the most used frequency and triple seven so like that the owner permissions are there here right the folder related permissions the folder the folder related permissions are there here ch mod so formation permissions we have to use the ch mod commands right ch mod commands here right so this is the this is its mod iphone r r means recursively you are giving to the folder here then so here then you will get here but there is no such file directory here then so here we delete it then give the permissions to Uday folder right then when you give to the Uday then see here Uday has full permission ch mode triple seven means he has the full permissions he has the full permissions of the group here full permissions of the group here right so that is the main here so here this will be changed actually this will be changed here d means directory d means directory here d means directory okay so here full permissions full permissions means all so all all means rw so see here rw means it's like user permissions xr xr means group permissions like that the permissions it will be set the permission level here the permissions level here right now suppose example here so what is this one dwrr or something like that so to understand this init level permissions you can see here here minus minus means the here sometimes you will get the minus here in the symbol you don't need in deep one you don't need in deep one so just to understand i'm explaining here so minus one directory or file so some information, some information related, you see the here. So minus, sometimes you may get the minus option here. So this one, so and also RWX, okay? RWX, this is the user rights here, user rights related information. Then RWX, some group rights actually. So in the third column, if you get here, R W R W X R W X R W X. So far, what is this mean? This mean first is the user, second one is the group, the third one is the others, external users. They can access this folder. We give full permissions, they can access this one. So that's why we have R W X R W X like that. We have this one. R means so read, write, execute. Read, write, execute. See here, here RWX read, write, execute is okay. User only execute and write, read that is fine. Only here execute option. So which means this file, right? So like that you can understand here, right? You can understand the everything here. Total three user, group, others three columns actually 
so user group total four columns minus one also we have to calculate it if you don't collect the minus value then you can remove that one <coughs> so we can ignore that one so you don't need in deep one why because we are we are not the linux administrator we are not the linux persons here right just ignore that one if you are getting confused ignore that one just use this commands ch mode so triple seven or double seven five or six double five this three you can remember why because when you are working in the unit in the curriculum for sap either you need to give to so triple seven triple seven is the full permission this is the below permissions this is the first permissions so this is the permissions levels we have here right just the three levels it's a very important normally commonly we will use it here just to keep it in mind that's it so because it's very confusing commands just keep it in mind okay so understand you are new to line next but just confusing commands just ignore okay the ch mode ch mode so second one is called the the one more thing is suppose you created the one file here suppose sometimes your manager ask you to add the some lines here in this file in that case you have to go to the vi editor vi editor then click on the insert mode i means insert mode then you can add the some data here some role some data whatever you want you can add the some data into the text file here you can add the some data into text file you can add it whatever you want right so then you have to save it now then escape you see when you escape it this insert will go away disappear right then colon wq exclamatory what is it mean by colon w ante save q means quit save and quit just click on this button then enter this file got saved here this file got saved here so this file got saved here so q means only quit without any saving here without saving so this file got saved here now see any data is there go to the more more for to view the data inside of the file right inside of the file here so this is the directory actually inside of the directory nothing is there here we want to create the file touch text touch text dot txt something like that i created the one file here so so here do you want to view the contents you have to use the more or cat command you have to use it more or cat for the for more or cat commands for the so more or cat commands for the view the data view the view the contents contents of the file inside of the content we can use the this one more or cat command we will use it here right so then so why we are discussing this one we are discussing about the hana topic why we diverted to the again linux command linux commands here why because hana we have to install the linux one just i am simply going and installing the hana database it will not any it will not create any value to you why because you need to know some linux commands also right will you agree or not right you need some linux command why because tomorrow you have to execute the some command to check the memory files creations folder creations giving the permissions deletion of the perm sometimes you have to execute these things in that case so in this case if you recall all these things so i have not explained if you if i don't explain all these things tomorrow you will feel like so sir i have not explained all these things right <coughs> so that is the reason so it's very important no need some um, that much of deep level few commands 10 to 15 commands if you remember that's fine you can operate the linux operating system right so df cd all the ch mode ch1 and also more cat cat and more are for the view the data inside of the file here you want to create the data suppose go to vi vi editor vi means vi and file name where you want to edit the data where you want to create it here then you can just add the data here <coughs> you can add the data whatever the data you want to add it here so you can add it escape colon wq exclamatory here right exclamatory here then 
that is added here right some main some lines are added here you want to view go to the more and see what is the data you added or cat you can see what is this cat means all the file entries will be displayed more means if the file size is very big so we can go for so one by one one by one you can use it this here right suppose and also you have the tail command tail suppose i want to see last two lines only last 10 lines only then tail hyphen tail then you can see this command you see only last 10 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right last 10 lines only displayed here right so i want to see last five lines last five lines of the file here right then you can see then you see last five lines i want to see last so last to one line two lines then you see last two lines only tail command is for the tail tail means so below of the file bottom of the file content you see the how many lines you want to see you can see it here right we use the more this is the all the file it will be opened here all the file it will be opened here the, if the more size it will be opened so that is the main thing here vi means so to add the contents you have added up to here just click on the i for inside just scroll down what you want to add it here so this is the so text to file so something like that you can add some data to the here okay escape colon double q exclamation then the content will be added to the file here the content will be added to the file here see here i have added the file if you want to remove the entry then vi i want to remove the one line entry here then go to the here what entry so i want to remove this one press on the delete button like this you can do that one again colon double q exclamatory you can see here colon double q exclamatory enter that is saved here okay that got saved here so this is the way we can so we can do the our so linux commands and everything here right and also let's go to the, our main topic so that is called the so where our software folders are there here cd slash media the files we downloaded the version of the file we have the sps 05 06 and 07 also we have right then how to do the installation of the hana database here then only we can do the administration activities through hana studio here so hana installations now let's change our topic to the hana installations okay shall i explain this topic or will you guys will practice the linux commands what is your thoughts here? Explain. Explain. Okay. 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 Fine. Yeah. No problem. If you are okay, I'm also okay. Okay. So here, suppose you want to remove RM command. RM command, you can use it, then remove it. So if it is a directory, then how can we remove? Then rm minus rf recursive force. Then the file got removed. Suppose you want to remove the then the folder also you can remove. Then all gone here. Right? All gone. Nothing is there here. This is the way. So now <clears throat> HANA installation can be performed using the tools called the HDB LCM tools. SAP installation, how we will use, right? How we will use the SWPM and I installation here. So, ways of installation here, three ways of installation. One is the command prompt mode, we can do the installation. GUI mode, we can do the installation. Web mode, web browser level, we can do the installation using the HDB LCM command. HDB LCM. HDB LCM means HANA database life cycle management tools. We have to use it here. So to install the HANA database, the preparation activities is like the three steps, what we have to do to so download the, the first of all, the OS version, then hardware requirements, the software requirements, all you should have meet it here, right? That we already discussed 
and we have the hardware requirement software requirement file systems memory space size everything we have already checked that one right so then so directly we are going for the installations right so installations right so here <coughs> hana installation to perform the hana installation the mandatory after os installation the mandatory some rpm packages should be installed should be installed should be exist here rpm packages means in the in the windows level we will call it as the .exe file in the linux level we will call it as the rpm packages so which means compact compact c++ and also one more thing is the gcc libraries and also ins yes service this is the one of the file so these three are mandatory should be installed mandatory should be installed in our operating systems so if in case it will not come with as part of the os build then you need to use this one you need to use these commands right you need to use this command <coughs> update let me check whether any <coughs> updates we have to perform it or not okay so in the linux level if you want to update if you want to do the installation anything you need to use the m update m update you have to install it here okay so m update you have to install this one right so you know download the default <coughs> so m update you have to use it here so then all the rpm packages will be installed so i think currently i'm getting the 4034 bit in error so let's ignore that one okay so ignore that one okay so that is the way we have to install that one right so that will be installed if not we have to manually download the rpms and we have to install it right so hana installation can be done using the hdb lcm and this hdb lcm tools come with the as part of the software packages right since we have downloaded the uh, files and we have moved to the linux operating system level we have moved to the linux operating system level so this is the software imdb ana database server means database server so this is the afl means plugins right this right. is the ana right. cloud sir so that m update hyphen y what that command did like uh, this will uh, this will update the os level binaries and uh, all those things what are the packages we have it will update it same as like in windows level we have the windows update right when you go to the windows update when you go to the windows update command so what this command will do here yeah, just yeah. click on the check for the update and in play means this command will it will check the what are the components are installed in your left laptop it will check all the things here and it will apply the latest updates right same as like here in the linux level also it will check all those things and it will update it here oh. it downloaded packages also yeah yeah download not the downloaded which are installed packages which are already there installed the packages here those packages will be those packages will be updated here not the sap related os level os binaries related files will be updated here okay so i think uh, we don't have much time also to discuss the hana installation then so yes someone asking something okay so then go to the cd slash media okay before we do the hana installation let's talk about the some technical words here right why because we don't have much time to discuss the this one why because here we have only 15 minutes left okay so technical words here also in the when you are installing the hana database you have to use the sid instance number so these are the technical words you will get and also few users will be installed here same as like SAP here also few users will be installed here that are called the that are called the one is the system user that is for the DB level administration work admin work to perform this one and also 
system user and SID ADM user. This is the OS level, OS level so DB admin user, DB admin user to perform the DB related tasks, administration tasks here, SID ADM and system user. <coughs> system user is for the so DB level admin work, right? SID ADM is for the OS level admin work. So we have to use these commands, SID ADM and uh, system user. SID ADM and uh, system user, we have to use this one. Okay, got it? So that is the main thing here. So main thing we need to remember here. Main thing we have to remember here. All right? SID ADM user and uh, system user here. System, system and uh, SID ADM user here. We need to take care of all these users will be created. And also, Installation you need to start with the root user. With the root user only, you need to start the installation. So, and also you should know about the SID system identification and instance number. These things we already know during the SAP, right? SID system identification. Suppose if you are installing the SANA, right? Then HDB or HD1, then HD2, then HD3, something like that. You need to start put the H. Or you can your own naming convention also you can put so no one will stop no one who will stop you here right so that's SID instance number it's like 002 99 you can give it here anything 002 99 you can put any instance number here right so that is the major thing root user you have to start so tools like here you are using the HDB LCM tiles you are using so it's not separate downloadable it's come with the as part of the DB software installation only. So, and the root user, these are the SIDs and instance number. We have to do that one. Okay. So, this is about the our some technical words about the system. Okay. That's okay. So, you just remember all these things. Then, for tomorrow, we'll do the HANA installation. Then, weekend over the weekend, you will all get practice on the HANA installations. Monday will start the and time again administration work. All the administration work we have to start it. Right? So yeah, that's it for today. Any questions from anyone?